what happened was he sort of mentioned that he had this idea and then all of a sudden you were in Edinburgh and I was in Devon and it was all unfolding. And it's like I said to him before, we've had like multiple times where he's had ideas about things and they sort of weave their way out of the woodwork and you can see it happen and it builds up over time. But this was just like, I'm thinking of doing this and then it's, it's on. I would rather he was doing it and, and actually going through with the ideas as opposed to talking about it and not doing it. I can't stand the chat. I've got this idea, I've got this idea. We'll do it then, just, just go and do it. And he always says to me, I've only done 10 gigs this month. And I think, how have you only done this? How is that possible? <laughs> because it feels like you're never here. The whole, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up going for three and a half weeks. If I had known, I would have still let it happen, but I probably would have just been a bit more bitter about it. <laughs> But do you realise that for three and a half weeks, I'll change every nappy, I'll make every meal, I'll clean up every dish, I'll do all the hoovering, all the washing. Do you realise that when somebody cries in the night, somebody throws up, it's all me. It is all me. And I think to myself, having thought about the minor detail of those things, you know, that's what, that's what I love about him. That's part of the attraction. But also, it doesn't mean that sometimes I don't want to smash his brains in over it as well. So for three and a half weeks, it's all me. <laughs> It's all me. And I'm going to buy a horse in September. <laughs>